I am Dr. Nupur Sood. I am an obstetrician, gynecologist and a gynec endoscopic surgeon. Now I will be discussing about fibroids with you all today. I am working at Narayana Multi Specialty Hospital, HSR Bangalore. The treatment for fibroids varies a lot, but for first we need to understand what are fibroids. They are basically non-cancerous common muscular overgrowths on the uterus and they have a genetic predisposition. So if your mother or sister are having them, there is a high chance that you would be also getting them soon. But not to worry. Now these fibroids are treated based on their location and size. Now they could be subserous, intramural or a submucous variety. The subserous variety are the ones where they are present on the outside wall of the uterus. So they usually do not cause any trouble unless they are really growing larger in size say about more than 5 to 6 centimeters when they can start causing some sort of pressure symptoms. So anteriorly they can push on the urinary bladder and cause urine retention and posteriorly they can go behind and cause constipation by pushing on the bowels. So that is the time when it needs to be tackled, otherwise we just leave them alone. When it is an intramural fibroid, now this variety of fibroid can be diagnosed easily on an ultrasound and if needed even an MRI scan can be done to further diagnose these varieties. So if it is an intramural variety and again it is less than 5 centimeters, not bothering you, not causing any period disturbances, no heavy flow, no pain during periods, they can be just left alone and silent. Again, if they start increasing in size, that is the time when they are more than 5 to 6 centimeters, they need to be treated. The ones which really need a treatment is the submucous variety. Now these varieties are within the womb, within inside the lining of the uterus. So even a smaller size fibroid can easily cause heavy flow and pain during periods. Now pain during periods due to fibroids is more due to the degenerative changes which happen within it when they are present for a longer duration. Now the treatment options are one is the open technique which is a laparotomy or a laparoscopic technique. Now these are entry techniques and this depends on the skill of the surgeon who is going to treat you. But the fibroid per se, either the fibroid alone needs to be removed what we call as a myomectomy procedure where the fibroid alone is removed and the uterus is preserved. This is generally a preferred option for people who have yet to complete their family, yet to complete their pregnancies and are of younger age, less than 40 years of age. The ones who have completed their pregnancies more than 45 years of age, generally a uterus removal in itself is preferred because these fibroids again they have a tendency to regrow. So if you remove one, there is always a chance that another can grow back and again lead to trouble. So these are the various options which are available. Now before going for a surgery, generally everyone likes to try some sort of medication. But one needs to understand that for fibroids, medical management, there are certain tablets and in monthly injections which are available, but they are all temporary. They do reduce the size by a few centimeters, but the once the medication is stopped, they regrow. So they are not a very definitive treatment. And secondarily, we give these medications only for patients who are not fit for a surgery or who are suffering from a severe anemia due to the uh, you know, blood loss during the periods leading to you know, severe anemia. So these are the patients where medical option is really considered and there is also high frequency ultrasound therapy, HIFU which is available. But again these, all these therapies are temporary effect. If you want looking for a more permanent procedure then it is always surgical in case of fibroids. You can discuss these various options with your doctor and work out what works best for you and gives you the most satisfactory treatment. It has to be individualized, no two individuals can have the same treatment for a fibroid. I hope this information would be useful for you, thank you.